All right, so you're quarantined and your stupid smart scale runs out of batteries. What do you do? Right, the decision tree starts growing, right? Like you can actually go out, buy some batteries. This runs on four AAA cells and they should last for at least a year. Right, but like that means going out, right? Expending some effort, some energy, some legal tender, right? Like that's, that's a long route. It's a long route. It's, it's a deal. It's a deal. And you also have some, some parts, right? And, and some spare cells, right? And I mean, already you can see where this is going. And uh, yeah, so basically you can go all doomsday on this shit and actually gentrify it to support USB-C and have 3,300 milliamp hours, right? And yeah, I mean, you could and, uh, and I have, right? And this took about, I think it took about like two, three hours at least. So a lot of time was spent actually carving out a bit of this plastic to shove the cell in. You'll see later it's actually quite long, so it goes up until here. And, but yeah, so I'm using this Type C TC4056 module. Uh, it's actually at a very shallow angle. I should have angled it a bit higher, so the cable I have has quite a long, long neck, so that does fit, but like under tension, right? Again, this will have to be done very rarely, so I'm not worried too much. But anyway, you can see that uh, the angle's not in our favor, let's just call it. Anyway, so you get a charging. I also have a reset button, right? Technically, I'll never want to actually disconnect it and power it off completely. But if the Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, microcontroller board up here has some has some problems, right? There's literally no way, no other way to reset it. So, yeah, this is a momentary, normally closed switch. So press this, and you can see you disconnect the battery. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it it, it makes me smile. It pleases me. So I'll uh, go over the parts. Actually, my past self will uh, will take you over the parts and discuss a bit about the power consumption. Uh, he actually didn't mention the reset switch. I uh, this is a later addition, but apart from this, yeah, seems to work quite nicely. It does need six volts, and yeah, if this fails miserably, I'll uh, leave it in the description. All right, so this is me from the past, and uh, I still haven't put together everything, so. On one side we have a random lithium ion cell. This happens to be a one plus two. Uh, how big is this? It should be like 2000 something milliamp hours. Like I'm not seeing the capacity though. Does it really not say the capacity? Right, so it does give it a 3300, right? So insanely big ass, big ass capacity. Way overkill, but again, I have this entire box full of random cells, right? So, yeah. Um, and, uh, right, one problem I had was I need there to be six volts on the input of the, of the scale, right? So it wants four AAA batteries. And uh, so definitely have to boost the 4.2 to 3 volts that I'll have on the cell. Um... And so for that, I'm using one of these booster modules. And so the chip number is, is this one, and this is what you want, right? So this actually has a very good standby draw, right? So at three volts, it's gonna draw, and it, it has like six volts on the output right now. Uh, so we're drawing 0.7 milliamps. And let's actually lower the voltage even further. So if we lower it, to 3.1 it doesn't do much to it and at 4. Point whatever it's also going to be even lower right so it's a very good quiescent draw i do have some other modules over here which have fared a lot a lot worse but so let me actually take one out so for example i first tried it with this one it's also a six pin chip but it has uh, fared a lot worse so this actually draws 
one point something milliamps if you ask it to output six volts. So is this the same chip? Because if it is, that will be super weird. I don't know anyway. So this one actually uh, fared pretty pretty badly. And I also have some other ones which are very cute. So I have these. These ones, which are an insanely minimal design. Just two caps, a choke and a diode. And these are actually unregulated. So depending on, so they were rated as five volts. This is why I wrote five volts. They're actually uncapped, it seems. Right, so with four volts, they output about six, seven, and it fluctuates and it takes a long, long time for them to stabilize into a 50 mega ohm load or whatever this is. And so I do not recommend these too much, but uh, if you want just uh, an insanely tidy booster, then they should do, right? So anyway, so I did find this one milliamp at 3,300 milliamps. I can afford to piss that away, basically. It's still rather inefficient, but it's fine. And on the battery charging side, I have this uh, Type-C connector with a TP4056. However, it's not the TP4056, it's the TC4056. I doubt the C stands for Type-C, but who knows. Um, one more thing, if you just have a Type-C to Type-C cable, this will not work. So this does not communicate over the channel configuration line of the Type-C connector, so it's a very dumb device. It uh, basically is just tied into the power and ground lines. And so you'll need one of these uh, simple, uh, one of these simple Type A to C cables. And this basically just routes the data and power over here. And that's it. So this will work. However, a Type C to Type C cable will not. I did try it. Which is rather sad, but like, anyway. So yeah, that's about uh, about all she wrote. Uh, it will all always be on, right? You could basically add a power switch to this, but it makes no sense. Like, when do you ever want to turn off your scale? Dumbass. Uh, this has an insanely low draw, low draw. So, okay, and just for completeness, this is the consumption profile of the scale. So right now it's powered off. And you can see it, let's actually power it on first. So it wakes up when you step on it and it draws about like 55 milliamps. It should go up when it connects to Wi-Fi and stuff, but not by a whole lot. And then it goes to sleep and then it does these pulses, right? And again, I just did a review of, uh, of all these power monitors. And one thing I did very much value was response time, right? So with such short bursts on slow, meters you would completely miss this kind of stuff uh linking up here right of that video so now anyway, let's go over the graph and take a quick look at that and then we're done so we need a much shorter time base right so perhaps not this short no. hmm. is it completely asleep or what Okay. So it did some spikes and apparently now it's even below the spikes. Or are the spikes just that low? I don't think so. Anyway, it used to do the little spikes for a longer period of time, but apparently it's not even doing those. So kind of cool. And it's still on, right? So. Yeah, not bad. Anyway, that's all for this part. All right, so let's give it a quick test, see what happens. Should be one kilo more than last time. It really wants you to sit center on it, which uh, I suppose. Very nice, all right. Yeah, so it does seem to be working before it actually did uh, give quite a bad reading. So it gave five kilos off with low batteries after I've reset it, right? 
so pretty weird. But yeah, now it seems to be working fine. That does uh, seem to make sense. 